But if I if it go if it rings if it rings a third time, then I'll just be late late. That's fashionably late. That's good. Late late is going to be bad. So I've got to go in. Well, That's cool though. Well, what have we here? The leader of the new no. Inquisition, fabled herald of the faith. Holy Delivered shit! Delivered from the grasp of the Fade by the hand of Blessed Andraste herself. What are you wearing? What Holy could bring fuck! Such an exalted creature here to the Imperial Court. Oh I my wonder. God! I'm so happy. Do even you know? Wait, are you the are you the fucking mage that's got her ear? Oh shit! Oh, I didn't even consider. Oh, this is very, very cool. They brought back Hawk, and now they're bringing back Morrigan? Oh, I love it. I love it. Yes. I'm here on urgent business. Uh, <laughs> it's a mystery. I mean, like, obviously I fucking love Morrigan, but my Inquisitor has no idea who it is, so I guess I should play it as my Inquisitor, not as me. Even though that's going to be hard. Because holy shit, it's fucking Morrigan! Ah! Oh, it's been so long! Not even a fucking whisper of her in all of DA2 and like 50 hours of this game. My goodness, it is good to see her. It's a mystery. We may never know courtly intrigues and all that. Such intrigues obscure much. But not all. I am Morrigan. Some call me advisor to Empress Selene on matters of the arcane. You have been very busy this evening, hunting in every dark corner of the palace. Indeed. Perhaps you and I hunt the same prey. Uh, I hope so. I really do. I hope so. I could use another ally here. Please don't a be against me. I share. Considering recent events. Man, I recent love events. her outfit. <laughs> Recently I found and killed an unwelcome guest within these very halls. An agent. Well, maybe the top half. Bottom half not so much, winter. but top half looks sick. So I offer you this, Inquisitor. A key found on the Tavinta's body. I fucking greatly Where appreciate it leads, that. I cannot say. Yet if Celine is in danger, I cannot leave her side long enough to search. You can. Is the Empress safe now? You left Selene alone. Is that wise? I must return to her anon, but she is safe enough. For the moment. It would be a great fool who strikes at her in public in front of all her court and the Imperial Guard. Man, I can't believe she's here. I can't believe she's here. This is so cool. Why do you protect her? What's your interest in protecting Empress Selene? Are you her bodyguard? <laughs> Do I seem a bodyguard to you? She if looks anything so good. were to happen to Celine, eyes would turn first to her occult advisor, even if they knew otherwise. There are sharks in the water, and I will not fall prey to them. Not now, not ever. Why did you kill him? Why did you kill the agent? He might have had useful information. I would not have slain the man on sight had he not attacked me first. Why? Undoubtedly, I caught him in an illicit act. I did not know from whence he came until after the battle, and regret only that I could not capture him alive. What intentions the Imperium has here, I suspect you know far better than I. I do. I think I know it's going to be the key to the door opposite the other joint, right? I know a door it opens, I think. Briala's people are whispering about disappearances in the servants' quarters. This key may lead there. The Ambassador does have eyes and ears everywhere, does she not? Proceed with caution, Inquisitor. Enemies abound, and not all of them aligned with Tevinter. What comes next will be most exciting. Oh, it will. Oh, it will. Oh, my goodness gracious me. She's got to be in it more than just this mission, right? Please don't... Oh, man. I really hope... I really hope that... Because, like, Hawk, it was great seeing her, but then they just kicked her out again. This could be oh. worth checking out. Oh, it's not a... It's not a change of area. Oh, it is. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I really hope that Morrigan stays around. 
please. Please. Like, we've got Leliana. They could, they could reunite. That'd be so good. Oh, man. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. This is great. This is awesome. Oh, I see. Open the inventory menu to equip weapons and armor. Oh, it's all been fucking taken off us. Could you not just re-equip what you took off when we arrived here? Would that have been too much to ask? I guess so. Uh, you had Bloodwake. Solus, you had... I guess the Keeper Fire Staff? Man, you need an upgrade. <laughs> 87 compared to 133. You are fucking falling behind, my dude. That is pretty garbo. I might have to craft you something, in fact. Uh, that's for you, yes. This is for me, although, uh, saying that, I am curious to see what it would look like. Oh, they change it. They change the design for dudes, I see. I mean, that makes sense. It looks way, way worse like that, though. That looks so much better on me. Holy shit. Holy shit, that looks so much better on me. <laughs> uh, 23, 23, 18, 21. I'll take your 23, then. Do, do, do. What did you have? 168, maybe? And 21. I don't think that was what you were wearing, but it looks cool, so we'll go with it. Uh, 18, 23, 135. What was this? 168. Oh, maybe we should swap them over, actually. Because you've got the better weapon. I think that's what you did have, right? Okay, there we go. Is that everyone happy, then? I think. Everyone... Oh, bull, your helmet. Uh, dread, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Time to go and fuck some people up, I think. Must be the elves Briala's people are looking for. Now, is my court approval going to be dropping, or are we okay? Because, like, we never did go into the ballroom, so we're still late, I think. Diary of a no Nosy Servant. Since I took that box up to the Grand Apartments, nine people have subtly tried asking me where the vault is, including a couple of chevaliers, the fifth undergardener, and one of the Grand Duchess's footmen. I'm not mad enough to tell. I mean, is the vault the thing I unlocked? I think it is, right? Cheeky upgrade for the man in the china shop. Uh... Yes. I'm pretty sure the vault is the thing I did with Veilfire. It sure had a vaulty vibe to it. You know? You know what I mean? There's something above me? Yes. Hala statue. Hello. Can I grab that? How do I get up there? Wait, was this the room I was just in? I totally didn't notice a second exit. <laughs> ah, shit. Court approval is dropping. Fuck. How do I get up to the Halla statue? No. Let me have it. <laughs> ah, here? Maybe? Although, how do I... I'm not going to be able to accurately jump over there, am I? 
Well, she didn't even... I pushed forward and pressed jump and she barely moved forward at all. Uh-huh. Oh, come on, this is a... I hate the movement in this game sometimes, man. I really do. It's so clunky. You piece of shit! Yes, I will waste my entire fucking quarter pre vault getting this fucking statue. That is exactly what is about to happen here. Winter Palace, the Servant's Wing. During her reign's fifth year, Empress Selene substantially expanded the Palace's servants' living quarters. They now encompass a large stretch of garden which the landscape architect Treno designed. It is considered one of the finest examples of his style in Orlais. Okay, come on, come on. Just fucking nudge it across. Yes, yes. And then straight line, yes. Yes, fuck you. Suck every dick. At the same time. Discovered gardens. Right, what's going on here then? Should we look around? Oi, oi, what have we here then? That's a lot of dead fucking people. Just keep scanning, just keep scanning, just keep scanning, scanning, scanning. What do we do? We scan, scan. Is servant? What was he doing here? Is that Gaspard's family crest on the hilt of that dagger? Time to have a word with the Duke. What the fuck? What the fuck? Venatory agents! Hello! watching this approach. They're organized. Shocking that. So we need to get up there. How? Around here, I guess? We got plenty of court approval still. It's not a worry yet. That takes us out, I guess. I don't, I, obviously I don't want to go out. Greetings, chuckle fox. Uh, can I? I can wrap around here. Can I? No. Okay, we're still above fifty. That's good. I think we're doing fine. I think we're doing fine. Discovered the grand apartments. A compendium of Elysian theatre. Callista paces on the battlement over the lake. The sky is dark. She holds a cup of poison. Camellia is there, face veiled. 
The dawn is late. It will not come again. It must hide neath the clouds. It will not come again. The queen thinks you dead. Camellia, her back to the audience, faces Callista and removes her veil. Callista moans in fear. She drops her cup. These lines are from a play said to have been one of the strangest works of its time. Bartlett was a writer of small repute who died when a fire swept through his pauper's hovel. The setting of the light takes place in a mysterious city of Demhi, implied to be another world that somehow becomes our own moon. Accidents, madness, and suicide plagued the first production, and some historians claim that the play's conclusion was at once so hauntingly beautiful and shockingly vile, it sparked the great riot of Val Royale in 452 Black. The truth will forever be a mystery. Only 14 pages of the play remain. Weird. Howdy! It's a trap! <laughs> what? They didn't fucking give me the thing! The Lion of Orlay. Uh, it's gotta be history, right? Yeah. As to your question regarding why a lion is considered the symbol of Orlay, particularly when the lion is a creature native only to eastern Thedas, the answer is quite simple. It adorns the crest of the Valmonts, the family that has ruled the Empire since the end of the Exalted Age, and in truth it is the Valmonts which have come to represent Orlay. Before them, the Orlesian symbol was that of a, the descendants of Cordilius Dracon, a dragon. As to why the lion adorns their crest, that dates back to the time of Lambert Valmont, a young captain of Orlais who distinguished himself at the Battle of Aisley, that great and infamous battle that ended the Fourth Blight. It is said that young Valmont disregarded orders during the battle, taking his forces to relieve the beleaguered Antivans and saving them from absolute destruction. Though his superiors were at first chagrined, Ch is that how you pronounce that? Chagrined? Chalking up the captain's actions to an infatuation with a certain Antivan camp follower, this incidentally has never been confirmed, it later came to light that the Antivan force had been led by King Azar Al Adalberto Campana himself. In the political realignment following the Blight's end, Antiva was an important ally to Olay, and Lambert Valmont was, the, was an Antivan hero. He was given the hand of one of King Azar's daughters in marriage and elevated to noble rank, with a valiant lion to adorn his newly created heraldry. The Orlesian Emperor was forced to respond in kind, granting Valmont a marquisate. Imagine, if you will, the hero returning to Val Royale from the Blight, sporting a wife with royal blood and the honours of two nations. This is why jealous nobles called him the Swaggering Lion, a nickname he embraced. It was Lambert Valmont's son, Alphonse, who later led the civil war against the usurper, Xavier Dracon. Professor X... <laughs> he killed Professor X in single combat, giving rise to the great Orlesian legend of the lion slaying the dragon putting an end to the Dracon dynasty as he assumed the throne and changing the Orlesian symbol forever. Now that is very interesting. Cheeky bit of history and lore. Yum, 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 yum. That's that good shit that I like. Right, now where did I come in from? Did I come in from here? No. Howdy. Jess Chavis, mother of Orlay, it is said we owe much to the sons of betrayal. Three brothers were charged with girding against an imperium in wait. And in mourning Andraste, we tribes of the Crescent willingly bar bartered diversity for solidarity. Tavinda would not be defeated in Our Lady's lifetime, but would be balanced against for lifetimes to come. While a son of betrayal named the fields Orlay, it was Jess Chavis, his wife, who shaped what we are. Her hatreds were older, bound to, tradi to tradition. All our hatreds were abandoned, so we could call, so we would call strangers kin and stand as one against the Imperium. Greater her spite for how necessary the cost, because she knew she we had a choice in that day, or no choice the next. 
She brought the marriage that wed tribe within tribe, but promised an untold vengeance of her own. If we stand against outsiders, we stand for ourselves. She would not suffer the rule of Alamari, son or no son of betrayal or prophet. Jashavis piled brother against bu plied brother against brother in turn, then named both as partners in crimes against faith. With artful turns, she invited invasion, then crafted rebellion against the courts she inspired. Brother would kill brother and be killed in turn, two liberations that she would then own. Eight generations before the Empire, before Dracon, here were the seeds of elegance to come. Jashavis, twice married to sons of betrayal, twice widowed, our first chieftain born from us, of what would become true Olay, where we venerate faith and the beauty of sacrifice with daggers well hidden but well within reach. It is true we owe much to the sons of betrayal, for they were the tools that a master cast down. Let others claim credit for birthing the nation. Jashavis claims nothing and gave us the game. This text was translated from blah, 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 a highly romanticized account of the first blah, 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 or female chieftain of the unified Sirene tribes of Olay. The region and people would later coalesce under Dracon into the modern nation of Olay. Many culturally distinct communities were forcibly merged during the rule of Mafarath and his sons, ostensibly to create more efficient barriers against the likelihood of a Tavinta return to conquest. The effects of this relocation can still be observed in many Orlesian, Navaran, and Free Marcher traditions. Ooh, quite a fucking read. Now, does this go to the same... Is there anything in here, like... No, this wraps around differently. Okay. I want to go everywhere except where I am supposed to go, right? We haven't used any potions either, so we don't need to refill. Correct. Good, good. Now, this is back outside. Okay, let's go in here, then. Uh... Oh, wait. It's... Around here? Wait, no. Ha what? Upstairs, I see. Greetings! Oh wait, I've just realized gain access to the vault is a three statuettes thing. I just noticed it said on the right, so I clearly have not accessed the vault already. Uh, the Grand Apartments. This wing once served as a home away from home for members of House Valmont's four cadet branches, but it has fallen into disuse since Emperor Florian's reign. The late Emperor would not allow relatives more distant than his siblings into the Winter Palace. For years, the entirety of the Grand Apartments were closed off. Sure. Very exciting lore there. Uh, okay, nothing else in this room. Oh, is that the vault? Is that where I need another statuette from? Fancy meeting you here. Who's this? Inquisitor Lavellan. Slamming in the servants' quarters with the rest of your people, for once. Uh, we haven't okay, been I don't properly like you. introduced, have we? I'm Ambassador Briala. That's a fancy title. Ambassador, is it? Whose ambassador are you exactly? If the nobility is going to treat elves as if we are not citizens, we may as well have the trappings of a foreign power. You clean this place out. Will take a month to get all the Tevinter blood off the market. Okay, I don't think she was being as shitty as she sounded like she was being. People. I misread that, I think. To it. So, the Council of Errol's Emissary in the courtyard. That's not your work, is it? 
Uh, Gaspard's work, I think? Gaspard killed him, I think. The knife has a Sharon crest on the hilt. I knew it. I knew he was smuggling in chevaliers. But killing a council emissary? Bringing to winter assassins into the palace? I don't know. Those are desperate acts. Gaspar must be planning to strike tonight. I feel like there's something more at play here. Like, maybe the knife was left deliberately to make people think that he did it. It seems too obvious. I feel like that wasn't actually him. Are you sure he's behind this? He was too easygoing for a man plotting treason. Don't let his charm blind you. He's illusion. That smile is his mask. I misjudged you, Inquisitor. You might just be an ally worth having. What could you do with an army of elven spies at your disposal? You should think about it. You paint a pretty picture. You know how to make a sales pitch, Ambassador. I'll give you that. I do, don't I? I know which way the wind is blowing. I'd bet coin that you'll be part of the peace talks before the night is over. And if you happen to lean a little bit our way, it could prove advantageous to us both. Just a thought. <laughs> this is great. Even the elves are trying to bribe you. <laughs> There's so much conniving and backstabbing here. It makes me homesick. <laughs> Okay, return to the ballroom, but there's more to find up here first. Mad Emperor of Vil. Modern history often forgets that Mad Emperor of Vil was at first celebrated as a military genius. Despite the warnings of his twin brother Gratian, younger by a mere hour, he committed Orlais to an invasion of Ferelden, an invasion that proved wildly successful. In the breadth of one campaign, Reville had expanded the reach of the Empire across all of southern Thedas, and allowed the court to dream of achieving even greater heights. The victory came at a cost, however, and when Gratian's prediction of war with an opportunistic Navarra proved true, the Orlesian Chevaliers met spectacular defeat. Everything we know of history states that Grand Duke Gratian had nothing but his brother's best interests at heart. The man was a kind soul, much in love with his wife and many children, and, according to all letters recovered, vastly relieved to have not been burdened with the throne. Reville, however, went from reveling in the approval of his court to being the butt of jokes and the target of whispers. He was surrounded by courtiers who said his brother was behind the criticism, and as rebellion in occupied Ferelden began, things grew worse. There was open talk of placing Gratian on the throne, and when Marquise Yvette, Reville's mother and a calming influence, died and threw him into mourning, he snapped. Reville ordered the assassination of Gratian and his entire family at their estate of Sublicent on the Feast of Ascension. Gratian, his wife, and their three grown children and eight grandchildren, the youngest, Camille, only eight months old, all slaughtered and thrown into a mass grave, their bodies burned. Jesus fuck. The brutal slaughter sent a chill through the imperial court, as even the emperor's own children feared to speak out against him. He became increasingly paranoid and began wearing armour every time he left his rooms. His health began to decline, but he refused to allow physicians of any kind into the palace. By 850 Blessed, Reville refused to leave his rooms at all. His paranoia had grown so great that only a single cook was permitted to prepare his food, and only under the supervision of ten chevaliers. He no longer ate anything but venison, and his health, unsurprisingly, was poor. In 851 Blessed, Emperor Reville finally died, and upon entering his rooms, his son found that he had boarded up the windows and surrounded his bed with rows upon rows of daggers. Having a normal one, then. Where is this fucking third Haller, man? Okay, that's where we came up from, yeah? Son of a bitch. Somewhere there is a third Haller. And I'm kind of pissed that I can't find it. What if it's... Hang on. What if it's jumping down the bit outside? Is there anything? There's nothing out there. <laughs> oh my god, it's right there? Are you joking? How have I... What? How did I not see that? How in the fuckity fuck did I not see that? Now, is this the vault? I don't know if this is the vault. It's, I've got the open the vault thing, but like... How do I know if this is the vault or not?
Pick up Elven Locket. Is that Elven? Odd to find it here. Hmm. What does that imply? We got a cheeky level. I forgot we leveled up. Uh, right. Are we going down to this, I guess, is the question? Or are we aiming for fire mine? Hmm. I think fire mine's too good for us to not prioritize it, so... Let's grab that, and we'll be back there next. So was that the vault? I have no idea. And what does an elven locket? An elven locket in here. Hmm. Was there anything I missed around here? It just loops around. That's... Okay. Um... Court approval is about to drop below 50. Time to start heading back, I guess. Hi. We are in your debt, Inquisitor. Damn straight. Okay, I feel like I've been as bad as thorough as I could be. I'm pretty pleased. I'm pretty pleased with how thorough I was there. I think I, I think I've done pretty good. I think. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure people in the comments will let me know how many things I was blind to or whatever. But <laughs> I think as best as I could manage, I've been thorough. Explore the trophy room. That was uh, over here, wasn't it? Oh, but I can't. Wasn't it right here? Is it true what they say? You're the Inquisitor, are you not? We heard stories of your accomplishments. The stories I could tell. I'd wager I have better tales than anything you've heard. I told you, Philippe. Not everyone fights an archdemon and lives to tell. It's an inspiration. Trick the guards into leaving. Uh, I don't know if I could do this first and then this, but I don't want to risk it, so we'll do this. If you'd like, Commander Cullen could give you all the details of that battle. He's in the ballroom. Really? But I shouldn't leave my hope. You'd only be gone a moment. Philippe, the world is coming to an end. If we don't hear this story now, we'll never have a chance. You're right. Thank you, Inquisitor. Let's go. Sweet. Now can I get in here? Hell yeah. Oh my goodness. There must be something. Oh here. my god, hello! How's it going? Unknown monstrous beast taken in a hunt in Cyrold by Duke Emmerich. Hi! <laughs> Been a while. Scandalous bribe, okay. We've still only found 13. Like, how the f- how? How are the- how are we- we've not even got half of them yet. That seems insane. How can there possibly be that many more? Commemorating the expedition to the Deep Roads. Friendship with the two nations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick up orders. Philippe, move in on the western wing of the palace when I send you three shots of brandy. Not taking any chances, Gaspard. Okay. Got another statue. Six of ten. That's good. Gift. Sure. Fuck. 
That's the second door we found that's rogue only. I wonder if there's any Hella statues that are locked behind being a rogue. I mean, that'd be pretty cruel, right? Probably not. Alright. Return to the ballroom to confront Gaspard. We never found that royal key. This feels like it's coming to an end now. We never found that key to the Inquisitor joint in the top left. We met briefly. I am Grand Duchess Floriane de Chalon. Welcome to my party. Right, yes, yes. You're the... You're... You're Gaspard's sister, right? Yeah. Why am I not at all surprised that you want to see me now? This is Orle, Inquisitor. Nothing happens by accident. I believe tonight you and I are both concerned by the actions of... A certain person. Come, dance with me. Spies will not hear us on the dance floor. Uh. Hmm. Solus wouldn't be pissed, would he? I think we just say yes. Very well. Shall we dance, Your Grace? I'd be delighted. I don't think Solus gives a fuck, and I don't think Orle gives a fuck about two women dancing. Have the Dalish gained a sudden passion for politics? What do you know about our civil war? Orle's war is Thedas' war. I assure you the effects of this war reach far beyond the borders of the Orlesian Empire. Perhaps it does. I should not be surprised to find the Empire as the center of everyone's world. It took great effort to arrange tonight's negotiations. Yet one party would use this occasion for blackest treason. The security of the Empire is at stake. Neither one of us wishes to see it fall. Is that what we both want? Do we both want that, Lady Florian? I hope we are of one mind on this. In times like these, it's hard to tell friend from foe. Is it not, Your Grace? I know you arrived here as a guest of my brother, Gaspard, and have been everywhere in the palace. You are a curiosity to many, Inquisitor, and a matter of concern to some. Which am I to you? Am I the curiosity or the concern to you, Your Grace? A little of both, actually. This evening is of great importance, Inquisitor. I wonder what role you will play in it. Do you even yet know who is friend and who is foe? Who in the court can be trusted? Uh Probably that then, the raven icon, I trust no one. If I've learned anything, your grace, it is to put my trust in no one. Courts liking me. In the Winter Palace, everyone is alone. It cannot have escaped your notice that certain parties are engaged in dangerous machinations tonight. Isn't everyone? I thought dangerous machinations were the national sport in LA. You have little time. The attack will come soon. You must stop Gaspard before he strikes. I'm not convinced it's in Gaspard. I actually Garden, think it's not. We'll find the captain of my brother's mercenaries. He knows all Gaspar's secrets. I'm sure you can persuade him to be forthcoming. We'll I think it's too sus point. that a knife with Gaspard's crest on it was just left there. I feel like that's too obvious a setup. Court approval, a hundred? Hell yeah! You'll be the talk of the court for months. We should take you dancing more often. That just seems like... Just seems like, you know, it's all A. They do all this, the you know, game shit. I feel like... Leaving a dagger with a hilt, like, it's something they would do. No dances for Corypheus. I'd happily do more dancing, just not with Corypheus. I promise not to invite him to your next ball. Were you dancing with Duchess Florian? More importantly, what happened in the servants' quarters? I heard there was fighting. I hope you have good news. It appears the peace talks are crumbling. I don't... Oh, no, I... Mm. Florian is up to something? Florian is definitely pushing me to be like, Gaspard is the bad guy. And I don't believe that Gaspard is the bad guy. So maybe Florian is the bad guy? I did find Venatori agents. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Which should I go with? The Grand Duchess tried to convince me Gaspard is the traitor, but yeah. I'm not sure I buy it. I don't Clarion buy it, and which means that she's sus. Are sick as thieves, but she would give him up in an instant to save herself. Then, the attack on the Empress will happen tonight. Warning Celine is pointless. She needs these talks to succeed, and to flee would admit defeat. Then perhaps we should let her die. <laughs> That's, uh, oof. What do you mean? Now we're talking, we let them succeed. I don't know. I don't think Gaspar's the bad guy here, but I also am not seeing a fantastic reason to let her die. We let them succeed? I thought we were here to stop the assassination. Listen to me carefully, Inquisitor. What Corypheus wants is chaos. Even with Selene alive, that could still happen. To foil his plan, the Empire must remain strong. This evening, someone must emerge victorious. And it doesn't need to be Selene. She's right. Do you hmm. realize what you're suggesting, Leliana? A <laughs> treason. Sometimes the best path is not the easiest one. What is the best path? You're asking me to decide what's best for Orlais. This More is huge. That, whoever controls the Imperial throne will affect all of Thedas. This is actually you enormous. Stop is this a decision that I actually get to make? You must support someone, or all is lost. Then we should support Celine. She is the rightful ruler. Why would we say otherwise? Because she led Orlais to this point. I say Gaspard, provided his sister is wrong about him. I would suggest Briala. She could bring true peace, not only to the Empire, but also to its elves. This is, however, your decision, Inquisitor, not ours. Hmm. I mean, I'm inclined to go for Briala, I guess. She seems to be pretty fucking adept at playing this game. Obviously, Elven is good for my character. Would the people accept her, though? Because the Ole is not a big fan of the elves, so... Hmm. I guess... She has... Yeah. I guess I probably would support Briala. And Leliana is rarely wrong. So if Leliana is supporting her as well, then that... Definitely alters my, uh, my decision in favour of that as well. How should I support Briala? I assume she can't be Empress. She can't. She can, however, be the power behind the throne. Right, yeah, that makes sense. I forgot the whole she's not true. actually in line for the throne she could bit. could never control <laughs> Selene, not with their history. So Selene dies and Gaspard takes the throne. Briala would need a way to control him, some kind of leverage. What did Duchess Florian tell you? She said Gaspard's mercenary captain is in the royal wing, that he knows about the assassination. Which could be a trap. Or a lead. Either way, you should search the private quarters in that wing for clues. All right, we're not done. Then get me access. And in the meantime, get your soldiers into position. At once. Be careful, Inquisitor. Okay, well, we know where the royal wing is. That's where we haven't been able to get to. That's where we needed a key. Cool, okay. I think that's the final area we haven't really searched. Uh, greet the Empress's ladies-in-waiting and speak with Ambassador Briala. Okay. Um, right. Find material in the Royal Wing to blackmail Gaspard. Find material to blackmail Briala. Uh, over here is... Oh, wait, that is... Wait. Where are the ladies in waiting and all that? Hmm. Ah, down here. So I need to turn left. 
need more servers in the ballroom. Where is everybody? I still remember the day they... Mistress Nightingale, what a pleasure to see you again. You look radiant. <laughs> Marquis, it's been far too long. How's your family in Val -Chavin? No complaints, my dear, no complaints. You must come to the chateau to see the girls. They will be overjoyed. Oh, I've missed them very much. Little Sylvie must be ten now, no? Eleven. And already up to my elbow. Oh, how they grow. Perhaps I shall call on you soon. Excellent. Now I must dance with the dowager. It was lovely to see you, my dear. Look at Lady Cambian's slippers. Trimmed with pearls. And emeralds. And those buckles. Toss her into the lake and she'll sink right to the bottom. What a disaster. <laughs> shoes, that's your concern? There's a Deventer assassin on the loose and you're concerned about buckles on shoes. Everyone needs a hobby. Besides, you can learn a great deal about a person from their clothing. Gold and jewels on a dancing slipper. A slipper is easily lost and finds itself in the dust and dirt. She is unconcerned with the possibility of losing the shoe or soiling it. A vulgar display of wealth. But Lady Cambian's family has recently lost most of its holdings. They have their title, but little else. So, how did Cambian acquire such a grand shoe, hmm? What has she done? Who has she bedded? These are all useful questions, no? I guess so. You seem different here. You're different here than in Skyhold. More approachable. Yeah, it's the lack perhaps. of the hood. <laughs> this is Halam Shiral Inquisitor. This is the Imperial Court. This is the beating heart of the great game. Of course, everyone is wearing a mask. I learned this very young. I was still a girl when I attended my first ball. All this, the smiles, the small talk, it is a dance. And like any dance, it can be learned. For some of us, it has become so familiar that the steps may be performed in our sleep. Do you really think Briala should be given influence? Selina has been in power long enough to expect support. If we secure her throne, she will be grateful. But such gratitude will pale beside that of one we raise up from nothing. Who is lower than the elf? If we place Briala in power with Gaspard as her mask, her debt to us will be great indeed. And Gaspard will have the throne he has wanted. With conditions, of course. I suspect he will still find it gratifying. I have some info. I found this out. I'm not sure of its value. Very interesting. It may not help our investigation, but we can put it to use. A little more dirt like this, and we might have some leverage in the court. If you find more, let me know. Have you seen anything interesting? Oh, yes. Halam Shiral is lousy with scandals and scheming. But no sign of our Tevinter infiltrator, I'm afraid. Okay. I should go. Be on your guard. I always am. Ah, oh, man. I love Liliana. Anything new from you? Inquisitor, is there something you needed? This is all the same. We'll talk later. I await your seat. Um. It's been too long since I've had any word from Hi. the Royal. Inquisitor. To what do we owe this honor? We are always delighted to speak with you, of course. Her Imperial Majesty is unfortunately occupied at present. I found Celine's elven locket. Right, yes. I made a fascinating discovery. An elven locket in the Empress's vault. Oh dear. That is very interesting. I'll get Her Majesty. <laughs> okay. Inquisitor, I regret that we did not have time to speak earlier. No doubt you have questions about many things. That locket was from Bia Briala. The locket I found. It was a gift from Briala, wasn't it? She gave it to me for my coronation. I don't know why I kept it. It was a foolish thing to do. Why did you part ways? What made the two of you part ways? She wanted change. And she thought I should deliver it. 
My word is law, Inquisitor. But laws don't command people's hearts. Culture does not transform itself overnight. I failed her. I should have dared more. But the past, like so many things, is beyond my command. You still love her. Maybe you kept it because you still care for Briala. Perhaps I do. But I cannot put her above all the people of my empire. Dispose of the locket however you like. It means nothing to me. Hmm. Is there something we may do for you? We do so enjoy speaking with you. We will speak to the Empress on your behalf. Let's discuss an alliance. If the evening ends favorably for the Empress, how does the Inquisition benefit? Her Imperial Majesty brings the might of the Olysian Empire with her friendship. She is also a respected diplomat and world leader. She can forge alliances for you with Rivain, Antiva, the Underfels. And she throws the best parties. Uh, can I ask about the talks? I'd like to know more about the negotiations. What are Celine's goals? What is the Empress trying to accomplish with the negotiations? Peace is her only objective, Inquisitor. Gaspar and Briala are driven by personal ambitions, but those desires threaten the safety of all Orlesians. The war must end tonight. We must conclude this to deal with the larger crisis. What's happening with the peace talks now? Things do not look promising. The Grand Duke is as stubborn as always. He will not accept anything but victory in battle. But the knight is young, and Her Majesty will do everything she can to persuade him. Uh, I found something. My investigations turned up something interesting. Wait, do I actually... I don't think I want to do that. I have questions. Perhaps you could tell me something then. We haven't been properly introduced. How rude of us to forget. If I if I give them any info, they will take it straight to Celine, right? So I don't think I want to do that. And of course, Lady Fleur. We are the Empress's ladies in waiting. I'd like to know more about Empress Celine. Her Majesty has held the throne since she was just 16 years old. She is respected and beloved, not just in Orlé, but across Thedas. She doesn't care much for liver, and she drinks a tea black. All right, evening. let's leave it Until there. Next time, Inquisitor. Do take care. Enjoy the masquerade. Hello. <laughs> uh, right. Speak with Ambassador Briala. Ambassador Briala is out there. Inquisitor Lavellum, how many of the guests have mistaken you for a kitchen servant? You've charmed some of the nobles. We'll see how long you can keep their favor. I'm at a hundred right now, me. man. Uh, can I ask about the talks? I want to know more about the peace talks. Uh, what are your goals? What are you hoping to gain from tonight's negotiations? A voice. Simple enough, isn't it? My people have none. We've lived for centuries amid the lowest ranks of society. No one hears us. No one sees us. If the elves of Halam Shiral were elevated, if we had an elven noble at court, we'd have recognition. A voice. Man, cool. Uh, I feel like that's a cool screenshot if you remove the text. The Inquisi Inquisitor in red with the green tree behind them and then some nice columns and background and the moon in the corner. It's a very... It's, I feel like that would be a nicely composed pick. <laughs> um, one noble makes a difference. How much can a single member of the court do? It won't remake the world overnight, if that's what you're asking. Our problem is invisibility. The people in power are used to ignoring us. We're not actors, we're scenery. We need elves in positions where they can't be overlooked. We need to force humans to take us seriously. How will you accomplish that? How will you persuade the Empress to elevate an elf to nobility? It is already in place. Celine knows she needs us to tip the balance of the civil war in her favor. All we have to do is wait. 
she'll exhaust her other options and come to us for help. Then we'll name our price. And you'll be the noble? I assume the role of elevated noble will fall to you, Milady Briala. Let's be honest, Inquisitor. The sole elven noble in the court isn't going to have a position of power and luxury. But that's the future. We need to focus on the task at hand. What if the Empress is killed? If Selene were killed, what would happen to your plans? Assuming I'm not the one blamed, it would be precarious. I've been working on Gaspard, but he's like a charging bull. It would be easier to rein him in if I had something that could hurt him. Uh, wait, is that I what I just did? I want to know more about the peace talks. Yeah. Uh, I want to know more about you. I had a question about you, Briala. I'm an elf, Inquisitor. That should tell you everything you need to know about my life. I'm good at what I do. And so that matters. I will help my people no matter the cost. You and Celine were lovers? I've been told you were romantically involved with the Empress. I didn't take you for a gossip monger, Inquisitor. I suppose your spies have already briefed you, so there's no point in pretending. Yes, Celine and I were lovers once, but we've gone our separate ways now. Who are you? What's your story? How is an elf invited to the Empress's ball as an ambassador? Empress Celine and I have history. There was a time when I put my spies at her disposal. She knows my qualifications. We had a falling out. Now we are negotiating to determine whether I return to her side in the war. Uh, what happened? What do you mean, we had a falling out? She betrayed me. Turned me over to the guards on a trumped-up charge to save her political reputation. Jesus! It wasn't personal. It's the game. That's how all Orlesians Fuck that shit. things to themselves. It wouldn't do to let the court know she had an elven friend. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my god. If I was her, I'd be fucking going fully all in on supporting Gaspard. That's insane. Can you imagine that betrayal? If she doesn't win you back to her side, what do you intend to do? I have contingency plans. I'm not a child putting all my hopes on a single ball. This evening gives me access to Duke Gaspard. He's challenging. Not as progressive or persuadable as his cousin. But with time and sufficient blackmail, he might work with us. That's remarkably honest. I'm surprised you'd admit that, considering the circumstances. I know it's incriminating. Few harbor more resentment against Celine than I. But if she died after inviting me here, the court would certainly pin her death on me. An elf assassinating the Empress? Alienages across Orlais, across all Thedas, would be purged. Hmm. That cannot happen. I've learned some things. You might be interested in what I've found. It's about Gaspard. Uh, he threatened the council, he's sneaking in troops. About the servant's wing? You think Gaspard was behind the murder of that council emissary and the Tevinter agents in the servant's wing? Gaspard is ruthless. He wants the throne, but to conspire with Tevinter? That's low even for him. If you intend to stop him, you'll need irrefutable proof. His supporters will accept nothing less. I don't think Celine he is. Celine will never end the talks until she has no other choice. Uh, he threatened the council. He's been threatening the nobles on the Council of Heralds. Typical. Gaspard's always been a bully, regardless of the Chevalier Code. He's sneaking in troops. I found orders issued to his general to sneak troops into the palace. My people reported Chevaliers skulking around where they shouldn't be. It's a foolish move if he doesn't succeed. Sneaking men in is easy. Getting them out unnoticed is not. Hmm. Is this your locket? I found an elven locket hidden among Celine's things. This isn't yours, is it? Let me see that. She kept this. What was she thinking? If Gaspard had found this, it would have ruined her. Maybe it's sentimental. It was yours then? Maybe it's sentimental. It might have meant something to her. Maybe it did. She held on to it. You might be interested in what I found. It's about you, actually. 
Uh, I found the ambassadors. You murdered negotiators and stole their documents. In Orlesian politics, Inquisitor, murder and intrigue barely count as trying. <laughs> if that shocked you, wait until Celine shows her hand. I found the drop point, Briala. I know your people are hidden all over the palace. Of course they are. I'd be a poor spy master if I didn't have spies, Inquisitor. I like her. I'd like to put her in we'll charge. More later, Ambassador. And I guess Another with time, Gaspard, because they said that she won't be able to control Selene. So we need to find material in the Royal Wing Curry. to blackmail Not Gaspard. Has anyone ever told you that you have the most remarkable eyes? My third husband, Pierre. That's only coin five. Holy shit, we've been doing this mission for like two hours. This is crazy. This is flying by though. I like, feels like it's been 30 minutes or something. It's such a different uh, kind of mission, but like fucking awesome. 